Hi guys, so today we are going to see innovative congestion and control system for ambulance. This is the abstract of our proposed system. So our aim is designing a system which is capable of identifying the emergency situation in the ambulance and automatically control the traffic at the signal point. So this feature helps in decreasing the death rate which occurs mostly due to traffic congestion in emergency situation. So our main object is uh, to control the traffic signal indicator so that no traffic congestion occurs for emergency ambulance. This is a wireless data transmission technology. This is the introduction slide. So in country like India day by day the number of vehicles on road is increasing due to which congestion is a major problem. Congestion results in pollution which in turn affects the living. In India traffic is non-lane based on critique so congestion control provided should be better. Existing system only using R of wireless communication system. So here uh, frequency which have been reserved for uh, R of theoretically and also first is to analyze the analyze and implement wireless communication by using radio frequency transmission system. Second is to design a traffic light sequence for emergency mode when receive signal from emergency vehicle like ambulance. Disadvantages of existing system is a low range communication, more power consumption, signal contains noise while data transmission. Proposed system we are using a Zigbee based communication here are two microcontrollers one in the ambulance and other in the signal point. So emergency situation in the ambulance can be transmitted by just pressing a control button. Data will be transmitted from ambulance by a Zigbee module present in the ambulance. So and also according to action will be done on the traffic signals indicators. Advantages it is a low cost, low power consumption, no manual work, reliability, compatible size, easy to implement. So hardware requirements for our proposed system. So Arduino you know, vibration sensor, Zigbee transmitter, Zigbee receiver, LED indicators, GPS, GSM, LCD display, ORS232 cable, control buttons, transformers and bridge rectifier. Software requirements we need Arduino IDE and emergency programming language. So block diagram this is the vehicle unit. Whenever vehicle met with vibration uh, like whenever vehicle met with an accident then vibration sensor will be intimate to Arduino you know and also uh, like it will be transmit to SMS as to control unit uh, with that particular location of that accident vehicle. So here LED also indicates. So here a sensor was integrated with our controller, it is a main part one. So ambulance unit whenever that uh, ambulance receives the message from the control unit then it will transmit the signal through to Zigbee by using RS232 cable and traffic unit will receive the Zigbee transmitted. Uh, values from that ambulance spot. So it will receive then received values depending upon those values traffic uh, LED will be changed like it will be a red means it will be changed into green. So that way traffic will be cleared. This is the working model. So vehicle accident observed using vibration sensor and the control section is received by the microcontroller and then the nearby ambulance is received from the PC and controller sends the message to the ambulance. So here effect of form of electroluminescence where incoherent and narrow spectrum light is emitted from the P in junction of that particular LED circuit. So here LEDs are widely used as indicator lights as an electronic devices and increasingly high power applications such as the flash lights and area lighting. So this is the main part of our proposed system what you know, you know with 8 mega 3 to 8p microcontroller IC. 16 into 2 LCD display showing the uh, sensor parameters or messages to third party users. Zigbee will be helpful to transmit the data in long range. R232 it will be helpful to communicate the Zigbee to our controller or our PC by using this R232. GPS will give the latitude longitude values of vehicle which one is met with accident. GSM will send a message of that vehicle accident mid uh, vehicle location. As a vibration sensor, it will be analyze the whether the accident is occurred or not. This is the LED, it is an indicating device. Push button we can, we can uh, either control manually from ambulance to uh, like traffic signals by using these push buttons. So transformer, we are using a stable transformer to level to. Uh, 12 volt as the output here uh, 230 volt as the input like 12 volt to uh, like 230 volt to 12 volt step down transformer. It's a pixel step down transformer. Bridge rectifier will convert analog 
uh, alternating current into DC current. IC7805 voltage regulator will give the 5 volt as the output. IC7812 voltage regulator will give the 12 volt as the output. It's a fixed one. Remember, it's a programming language we are used here to develop our proposal system. This is the picture of uh, like Arduino IDE. Applications we are using our proposal system in car navigation, marine navigation and fleet management, automotive navigator tracking, vehicle tracking, autopilot, personal navigation or touring devices. Feature scope, camera connected to the microcontroller might help to a uh, user in taking the decisions. But also multi route circuit and uh, complete design circuit needs to be implemented in further in future. This is the conclusion slide. So which would in turn provide efficient quick response for rescue process to be carried out without any latency. So there are many accidental events occur due to unavailable reasons. This is the reference slide. So that's all. Thank you.